love the holiday season. I know I do. But you know what? The traditional boughs of holly and mistletoe may not necessarily go with your glam urban abode. Don't fret, we have a solution for you. I'm here today at West Elm where we're going to learn about the new holiday trends, glamorous and fun and untraditional. Having us here at West Elm. Okay, I'm really excited to hear your your thoughts on like a glamorous, fresh Christmas decor, right? But could you tell us a little bit more about what you do and what services you guys offer here? Um, so I'm the in-house designer of mm -hmm. West Elm. We do free design services. We okay. do uh, furniture layouting. And then you share, like you you suggest like what you could use and all. Yeah, that. we we suggest almost everything we offer from furnitures. Uh, dining wares, um, pillows, accessories. We have to admit, the moment we see those green and red decors up on our walls, we are immediately flooded with wonderful Christmas memories. According to Isaiah, there are actually countless of unique ways to make our homes festive for the season. First step is to choose your color scheme. Are there any other trends that we could talk about for holiday decor without going into the usual red and green stuff. So um, this year in West Elm, we offer, um, our theme is Holiday in Paris, so we offer, oh, okay. so the basic concept is like luxurious glam, so we're not into the traditional red and green color, so as you can see, we have the, the Art Deco colors. Oh, yeah. nice. So, okay, so if I'm not Let's say I, I'm more of a um, contemporary person, but I'm not into bold colors. What could I do to dress up like my, for a holiday look? Uh, you could do something like this. So this, this is like um, having a party in your loft or condo. So the color is not that like Christmas red, so it's kind of subdued red. So at the same time, we, we, it's a bit of holiday because of the sparkly finish on the pillowcase. It kind of reminds me of wine, eggplant, right? It's yes. really rich and um, it does go well with neutrals. It's all in the details, he says. So this is our um, holiday accessories. Um, mm -hmm. This are can candle holders or okay. votives. So you could use this as an accessory for holiday. At the same time, you could use it any season so and actually that's nice and also instead of using your usual Christmas lights yeah. then you can put a lot of these votive candles and even put the electronic LED lights everywhere that would be really nice and correct like because it's not necessarily red and green you could still use it and of course we can't forget the centerpiece of our decoration the Christmas tree Okay, there's no Christmas without a Christmas tree. At least I believe it. Some people want to do away with a Christmas tree, but it's still nice to have a Christmas tree. Um, what ornaments do you guys have? Like, they're very different. They're unusual. Tassels, nice. The West Elm, we don't go the, for the usual ornaments. So as you can see, we have we have this, um, the owl. It's so cute, it's yeah. like feathery owl, yeah. And you have this ornament that that, it, that lights up, uh, it's a LED battery operated. So the ornament itself yeah. lights up, okay. Oh, that's really cool. So you, you have the option to not put Christmas lights, but instead put ornaments. That that's lights. so nice. Then you have um, other elements, so like the silvery, this, and then the, can we talk about this? these um, butterflies as well? The butterflies are clip-on, so you clip it on yeah. any part of the tree. And no decoration is complete without dressing up the place where we all come together to feast, the dining table. Okay, so I really love table settings, and sometimes I find the biggest hurdle with having holiday Christmas set table settings is that you can never use them again. So, you know, it's nice to have a different take that I guess is more versatile. Um, can we talk about this a little bit? Tell uh, me about the items here. Our theme for the holiday dining mm -hmm. setting is pure. So it's nice. pure and Beautiful. soft and 
homey. So I, I really like this because it's it's very relaxed. Actually, yeah. it reminds me of the kind of table that my friends in um, in Paris or in Europe would have. You know, they don't have too many mm -hmm. like fancy yeah. things. They and they don't like to do over the top. For Isaiah, it's all about having fun and being bold with our decor choices. So, could you give me a tip? Let's say if you want to decorate for the holidays, but nothing too traditional, what, what could I do? My advice is you could go for something different mm -hmm. and be bold. Um, you could go think outside of the box, not the usual um, Christmas decor. So, uh, a bit of like gold, silver, or white for holidays. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's all about that glitter and glam, lush fabrics and metallics. That's what makes the holiday spirit. It's that party feeling that you get from bringing all these precious metals and fabrics to your home. So whether it's from the living room to the dining room, you can still have that holiday feel without the traditional colors. But of course, all that entertaining and talking to friends and having them over is tiring, so you could also carry out that glitz and luxury into the bedroom and have a sleepy pajama party for a while.